Hey, welcome back students. We're going to continue our discussion of how to find the mole ratios for a reaction. In the above reaction here, we see that carbon dioxide is reacting with lithium hydroxide producing two products, lithium carbonate and water. But one thing that you do notice if you kind of pay attention here a little bit, this is not balanced and the telltale sign is here when you look at the lithiums. Got one lithium on the left, one on the right. And so go ahead and pause the video. Try to see if you can balance this just as an extra practice for you and then we'll continue on. All right, so hopefully you, you uh, pause it, but if not, let's go ahead and continue. If we do the balancing here, we notice that we are going to need two lithium hydroxides on the left in order to get the two lithiums. That'll give us two hydroxides, uh, or rather two oxygens, and uh, for the lithium hydroxide on the left, two oxygens from the carbon dioxide, that's a total of four oxygens, and we see that we do have four oxygens on the right. We do have two hydrogens on the left as, as well as on the, on the right, and our carbons are also balanced. So this overall reaction is going to be balanced by the following coefficients, 1, 2, 1, 1. And so we're going to use this as a way to develop all of the uh, mole ratios for this particular problem. Remember from before that mole ratios are identified by the beginning spot. So you're going to have a fraction, and on the top part is going to be the the uh, com the compound and its coefficient that uh, where you're starting from, and then the other one is going to the denominator is going to be the co the compound that you're going to. Okay, so we'll begin with the first mole ratio here with uh, carbon dioxide. We know that one mole of carbon dioxide will react with two moles of lithium hydroxide. We also know that one mole of carbon dioxide uh, will produce one mole of lithium carbonate and one mole of carbon dioxide produces one mole of water. Okay, if we keep on going, this time we begin with the lithium hydroxides. We know that two moles of lithium hydroxide reacts with one mole of carbon dioxide. Two moles of lithium hydroxide uh, produces one mole of lithium carbonate. And moving down the next line, two moles of lithium carbonate will produce one mole of water. Moving over now to the product side, we know that one lithium carbonate is going to be produced when with one mole of carbon dioxide on the left hand side and we know that one lithium carbonate will be produced as a result of two lithium hydroxides reacting. Okay, And so Moving it on, we also know that uh, the, the relationship between the lithium carbonate, which is LiCO3, two, um, you're also going to have a relationship with water where one mole of water is produced as a result of the bright reactants. So that kind of brings us now to a total of eight. So we need to finish it up here. So we got to go with water. So one mole of water is produced when one mole of carbon dioxide reacts with lithium hydroxide and one mole of water is produced when two moles of lithium hydroxide is reacting. And we also know that the relationship between the products is that one mole of water is produced for every one mole of lithium carbonate. So here you have the overall 12 mole ratios that you would have anticipated for this. And in case you're not familiar with how we determine that, the number of mole ratios so here at the bottom is equal to the following n minus or n times n minus 1 where n represents the number of compounds there's a total of four compounds here so this is going to be 4 times 4 minus 1 which is 3 which gives us a total of 12 mole ratios for this reaction which is what you see here so in the next couple of videos you're going to go ahead and uh, kind of see how we use these mole ratios to solve some stoichiometry type problems. So we'll see you in the next video.